What's up guys, it's Jono and today I'm going to show you guys how to shoot a gym video. And these are the techniques that I've used to make thousands of dollars shooting gym videos here in Houston. Alright, so today we're here with my bro Mike in his gym, Push Fitness. What's up Mike? All right, bro, so I appreciate you coming out. Oh, yeah. You guys should definitely check out his gym. So what are we working on today? And left and back. Back, we're working on back today. The first thing you should always do when recording a gym video is ask, what are you working on so you know what angles to get? Okay, so let's start. All right, All right so now we got lat pull downs, right? So whenever you're doing a back workout, you want to showcase the muscles. So if it's a guy in their rib, you want to take off their shirt, show the muscles. So you go right down here and you showcase the muscles right there and you show it. Look, just look at those muscles, just look at the uh, fibers and all that whenever he's doing his work. All right, so the second workout we have that he wants to do is pull-ups. So what I want to do is I want to showcase the movement. So I want you to watch this. Go ahead, Mike. Since we don't have two cameras, I'm gonna put one camera right here, going up with him while he's going, okay? Give me three more. One, two, and three, all right? Always showcase the movement of the athlete or the talent so you can show his dynamics, okay? To show the struggle of the athlete. You don't want to fake stuff, so always make them do heavy weight. Just show, look, I want you to show this weight right here. This is not light. This is actually really heavy, okay? So come back up. People can tell whenever you're being fake and you're just, uh, uh. all right, so go ahead, Mike. Stay right there. Right here, I put it right here and I show his struggle, okay? Right there, showing all that struggle he's going through. This is what makes the videos real and people can relate to it, okay? All right, so now we're on to point number three. First point was ang uh, show showcasing the muscles. Second point was showing the struggle in the face of the actors and athletes and the, and the talent. The third point is creativity. You want to be creative with your shots and angles. You don't want to do the same thing that everybody else is doing. How are you going to stand out? So go ahead, Mike. He's doing a version of a pull-up right here. Normally, people just get the entire body, right? But you want to, if me, I like to be different, I put the camera right here. Actually, right here, I don't care if he touches me. Right here, and I'm showing his face. This is not a normal angle that you get in a workout video or any type of video, to be honest. So that's point number three. You have to be different and be creative with your shots and be selective. All right, whenever you're shooting a gym video, one of the most important things that you can do, that you probably will and should do, must do, is have slow-mo. The worst thing you can do is record someone, and you know, slow-mo just makes it more cinematic. You know, if you're someone going for a punch, you're, But if you don't have that, it just looks like this. Choppy. We don't want to look choppy. So here I'm going to show you one example with slow-mo and one without slow-mo. This is with slow-mo. And here we have one with no slow-mo. This is what you're shooting like in 24 frames a second. See what happens when I try to chop it up? All right, stop. That's it, that doesn't have to take long. So for number four, what you want to do is go into your settings and put your frame rate at at least 60 frames a second. That way you can go at half the speed. The camera that I'm using allows me to go 120 so we can go four times as slow, or even, no, even five times as slow. So always make sure you want your frame rate at 60 or 120. All right, now the last point is all about branding. It's also audio, I'm gonna just lump them into this last point. Your audio has to be on point. You wanna have your cuts on the drops, on the change of pace, change of tone in the uh, rap, in the song, whatever you choose to do, make sure it matches visually. Everybody know, I've been knocking dope down like a Jehovah with you, you don't wanna have a beat drop and then the guy do something incredible way, uh, five seconds after, you don't wanna have that, okay? So audio is important, be selective with your audio, make it match. If you have someone doing jump rope, you wanna do maybe like an up pace beat. If you have someone doing squats, in slow-mo, you want to do like a somber beat, trying to show like the uh, struggle that they're going through to actually change their body. Along with that, we have branding, okay? Branding is important. If you have a logo, or you don't even have to have a logo. I don't have a logo yet. Just put your name, your signature. You, if you see any artist, you know who, who did it. Michelangelo, Van Gogh, they have their own type of style. So my style is I like to close out with, um, shit, I don't know where I was going. Oh, fuck it. Oh, oh, damn. Ham, uh, a fucking sandwich. Sandwich. Alright guys, so my brother forgot to record that last piece, so that's why I'm here. So, back to branding. You know, branding, it's all about 
what people know is your work. So do you want people to know you do it? You got to tell people at first, you know, shot by, da, da, da. I do shot by Jono because I'm Jono. So yeah, you know, you can have your own name, T shots, A shots, J with the shots, whatever, whatever, any name that you want to think of, or it can just be a film by Karina Evans, stuff like that. You know, anything works as long as people know it's you. But then once you get past that, knowing the name, you got to have your own style though. You can't have, you can't be bopping and st stealing other people's styles because you just look like a, like a nobody. Like you don't have enough skill to create your own style. So you take whatever else is hot and just, yeah, that's not cool. So that's all I had to say about style and branding. Just make sure that you brand yourself in the videos, take every video seriously, put your best effort into it and watch that so you will get more clients and more work off of that. So yeah. So there you have it, super short video. There ain't no BS around it. Just how to shoot a gym video, okay? If you wanna see the full video that I created for Mike today, the link is gonna be in the description below. You can check out his Instagram. If you guys could like, comment, and subscribe, I really appreciate that. And let me know what other videos you guys wanna see. See you guys next time. All right, guys, before you leave, before you leave, hold on. I want you guys to subscribe right here. Subscribe right there, okay? So subscribe. If you guys wanna see the favorite spots in Houston to shoot photography, it's right here, okay? If you wanna see my last video in LA, it's right here. So LA, subscribe, photography spots in Houston. Do your thing, bye.